Well, Nancy, you know, I've never owned a pickup truck, but over the last 10 years, I've driven dozens of them. So let's see what I thought about the Dodge Ram. Is this a face only a trucker could love? Or is it the neatest thing to happen to pickup trucks in years? For my money, the new Dodge Ram stands out from a crowd of lookalikes, and I love it. In complete contrast to pickup building rivals, Dodge decided to look back for inspiration when it styled its new Ram range. The 94 Ram uses styling themes from the 40s and 50s and ends up looking like nothing we've seen in years. When you've got one of these in your rear view mirror, you really know it's a new Ram. Our tester was a Ram 1500 Laramie SLT with a 5.2 liter Magnum V8 engine, developing 220 horsepower. A mighty 8 liter V10. Also in the range as before, automatic transmission with a dash mounted overdrive switch. Four wheel drivers engaged with a floor mounted transfer box shifter. There's no extended cab version yet, but it is on the way. The Kenworth nose job will make you feel right at home down at the local truck stop. But let's forget styling for a while and look at practicality. Now after complaining with pickup trucks, that this time we've got them. Dodger. Another good point, these pressings in the box walls are intended to take two inch lumber. So the owner can create a kind of divider system for different loads on board the truck. It's the kind of thing Dodger thought of that puts this one apart from the competition in my view. The Ram is a big truck, make no mistake about that. But we must remember that this is the kind of rig people earn their living with. It rides very well and will haul a substantial payload too. Parking is no easy task in urban areas, but it comes into its own at the job site, with plenty of ground clearance and excellent visibility from the cab. Our truck was fitted with the optional chrome wheels that I found attractive and easy to keep clean. They're also less likely to chip in rugged use than cast aluminum units. It's a bit of a step up to get into a new Ram, but once inside, there's lots of great things to see. Look at this, for example, a complete modular bin system behind the seats. This is the sort of thing we've been waiting for for years in pickup trucks. We've also got this, what Dodge calls its office equipment center. This will take a laptop computer here, odds and ends around the bins here, cellular phone. It's the sort of thing today's contractors who use a lot of electronic equipment really need. The steering wheel, well, it's one of the best in the business. Instrument panel, looks like a sports car. We've got this here, drinks holder, and even an auxiliary power outlet. Very handy. With its powerful 5.2 liter V8, this particular Ram has a maximum trailer weight rating of 5,000 pounds with the appropriate option package. Fuel economy is estimated at around 15 liters per 100 kilometers combined. Price of our tester was $25,725. Base price of this model is just under $20,000. What we've got here is another example of Chrysler jumping ahead of the competition because I think this is the truck to beat right now. Ford and General Motors have a little bit of catching up to do. Well, Tony, I think with the Dodge Ram, Chrysler is definitely butting heads with Ford and GM this time. Well, I think so. Quite honestly, I, my feeling about this truck is if you can find a better one, go for it. Because I, I just think it's the best truck in the market right now. I know it's the, the newest, but it's a, it's a very, very neat truck. And the, and the detail and the thoughtfulness that goes behind this truck is just amazing. Well, there's a lot of areas to cover. I mean, the, the four-wheel anti-lock brakes on a full-size full pickup is, is new. The 40-20-40 split on the, the front seat is, is a new thing. Um, a driver's side airbag is new. All these things that, that, the, that Ram has going for it, never to mind the looks. I mean, it really has that big rig look with the well, chrome that's true, and, and I, fat fenders. I love the way it looks. You know, the first time I saw one, I didn't like it. And I thought, what is this? What are they doing? And I saw the introduction there and so on. But um, I, I've grown to love it. I think it's great. And, and, and truckers, and, well, just about everybody seems to like it. I've not really met anybody who said, uh, I don't like the look of that. Yeah. Getting to your point, if, if you are my size, you have to grab the steering wheel frame and then getting out you have to slither out inevitably in wet weather your your pants well it's are pretty wet. tough and it um, is yeah tricky. it's very hard to get in, in and out of i'd certainly live with it yeah. i should mention that that chrysler does have available a step an accessory step that you can buy and fit to both sides yeah you have to should drag it around with you make, make, well, no, not that kind of step <laughs> <laughs> that bolts That's into the door through. yeah and it's, it's yeah. fine it works very well and i think that uh, i guess if i was buying one probably go for that but i like the basic truck yeah well let's talk about the engine this one has the 5.2 liter v8 and this is the engine combination that they are probably going to sell the most of 
I liked it. There was a lot of takeoff off the line. Um, sitting at idle, it was unbelievably quiet. But as you got going, there's no mistaking there's a V8 under the hood. Well, that's true. And of course, the engine options are phenomenal because you can get the, an 8-litre V10, which is almost like the Viper engine. I mean, it's an unbelievable motor. And, and of course, the Cummins turbo diesel, which is a, a real hauler. I mean, for people that are hauling things like motorhomes, this is, this is the one to buy right. if you're towing a fifth-wheel motorhome, which I have done with this vehicle. Yeah, and a lot of people will be interested in the, the Cummins engine. Uh, one thing about the cab being, uh, it is remarkable, the layout with the center console, the 40-20-40 split. All of that was remarkable. It was hard to remember that it wasn't an extended cab because you had the extra room behind the seats. You could recline the seats, which well, that's was right. great for someone Usually there's no room at all. If you've got anything with you, even a, even a map you, in so many pickup trucks, it sits on the passenger seat, and the first time you put your foot on the brake, it flies under the floor. Yeah. So this is very, very well planned and very well laid out, and there just isn't anything better. Well, I want to make another comment about the airbags. Having an airbag in a full-size pickup truck that's meant for hard work is an interesting combination and there's a lot of special consideration that goes into that as you know oh, yeah, to determine feature. that you know bumping up to a curb isn't going to set the airbag off so yeah. there's a lot of special oh yeah it's not, it's not you can't just it. bang one into the wheel there there's a lot That's of right. uh, factors that move into that okay time now for red light green light things i didn't like about the dodge ram t300 high step but well i'd live with it but it's uh, it's kind of tough on the other hand the looks i love the way it looks and i love the box features the hauling capacity is wonderful and the cab design is simply the best in the business if you're in the market for a full-size pickup, there's not really that much out. There's lots of different versions of the Ford F-Series, the Chevy and GMC C and K Series, and I guess, Nancy, we should throw in the Toyota T100. Right, I guess we should. What's your driving dollar value? Got to give it a full tank. It's, it, I, I reiterate, it's the best truck in the business. Full tank from me, no question about that. Well, it was manly, but I like it too. <laughs> Coming up behind the wheel, a preview of a new car and a special story on retrofit airbags. Stay with us.